Good evening. This is about as much of an honor as I can hope for in my lifetime to be uh, a, an optical judge at Stella Fame among all you people who love the sky, love to build telescopes, love to use them. And so uh, I just want to say that all the telescopes that were entered in the optical competition this year were wonderful telescopes. But we did sort them down to a few of the best of the, among them. And I am going to read an alphabetical list of all the winners, both mechanical and optical. So you will come down here, please, all of you who are here at least, will please come down and stand with me down here. Because although I feel honored to do it, you're the ones honored because of your work in the last year or two to build your telescopes. So come on down, Steve Benson. You here? Steve Benson here? Yep. Here we go. Amy and Claire Chang. Amy and Claire Chang, please. I see you. You're coming. Paul Courtemash. Did I pronounce your name at all correctly? He's got a thumb up, so I didn't do too badly on his name. Mark Daly. Mark Daly is, by the way, the son of longtime member Jim Daly. And I'm going to tell you just a little anecdote. His, his telescope is built like a model airplane. And I kept saying, can, can, can you point that model airplane at, at uh, Altair last night? And uh, his father also builds model airplanes and builds telescopes by methods that resemble model airplane construction. So there's, it's, it seems to be a genetic thing. I don't know. Anyway, Melvin Dob, uh, excuse me, Melvin Dawson, please. Are you here? Come on down. Melvin Dawson. I don't see him. No. He's coming? Okay, good. Oh, here we go. Thank you. Joe Deshen. Is the Joe Deshen here, please? Or maybe Joe Deshane. I think his, it pronounces it a little more like that. Is he coming? There he is. Thank, thank you, sir. Steve Dodson. Is that our stargazer, Steve? Yeah. Robert Horton. Robert Horton is coming. Uh, a team consisting of Tom Nolasco and Jim Taylor. Are you here, I hope? Come on down. There you go. I'm, I see you making a progress down here. Peter Talmage. Peter Talmage. There you go. Alan Rifkin. Come on over. And Alan Slisky. Alan Slisky should be here. He's almost always around here someplace, isn't he? He's right there. Okay, come on down. So these, everybody here won something somehow. Everybody here is a creative person. You out there are also creative people, so give some thought how you're going to find your way down here in future years, okay? All right, so we have, I have the optical awards, and then there will be, excuse me, I have the optical awards, and then there will be a, um, a slide projected that will, uh, first of all, most of you will see your pictures up here, and most of the folks out here will see your pictures up here. Um, first of all, as an inspiration to the, to the youngster tonight who won the uh, six-inch mirror kit, I'd like to introduce in the winners of the junior division. And I want to say that their telescope actually would have been competitive also in the adult division. It was right in the middle of the quality of, of all the telescopes that were on the field. They did a beautiful job. Amy and Claire Chang. And can we... We have a, a ribbon for each of you and the certificate for both of you. Now, they brought with them a beautiful poster board, presentation board, showing how they built the telescope as well. They built the telescope, uh, and they brought with them a presentation about how they built the telescope. So they're really 
on their way to something good in, in the astronomy game. Okay, in the uh, adult category, there were no large Newtonians this time. They were all between four and a quarter and ten inch Newtonians. We had four of them that we had that were good enough that we had to give them awards. We had a tie for third place. So one third place winner was Joe Deshane with a six inch F6. Newtonian, mounted on a beautiful German equatorial mount. Would you please? Thank you. And of so close to equal merit optically that we made it a tie for third place, we have uh, the team of Tom Nolasco and Jim Taylor with a 10 inch F8.62 Newtonian, also on a German equatorial mount. Congratulations to both of you. Patiently with me here, and I didn't introduce you. Dave Tabor, the president, the current president of our club, is also shaking the hands of these winners. With his organizational skills, he helps us to keep this thing happening. So give him a round of applause, too. In second place, the model airplane, Mark Daly with an a six inch F9.66 Newtonian on an equatorial fork mount. Thank you. By the way, the telescope, uh, the telescope probably weighed about 10 pounds with its stress skin model airplane fuselage construction. The, the block that it was sitting on was 150 pound uh, chimney block full of concrete. That thing was nice and solid. That was in the Porter tradition. Thank you. And in first place, da -da 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 -boo, Robert Horton with a four and a quarter inch. My first telescope here was a four and a quarter inch. Four and a quarter inch F6.6 Newtonian. Also on a German equatorial mount. Beautiful job, beautiful optics. And I want to say a plug for German equatorial mounts. Dobson is a creative genius and they're very handy and quick to set up. German equatorials still follow the stars. I like them. So thanks for bringing me some mounts that, that made life easy sometimes. Okay, now category three, which is called other optics on the, on the screen, um, what other optics means is things that are not just Newtonians, or optically speaking, it means a telescope in which more than one of the optical surfaces, other than the eyepiece, more than one of the optical surfaces has optical power. That is, it has a curve on it and does something to the light besides just reflect it or refract it. In this case, the telescope in question was an 82 millimeter refractor in which the lens was made with exotic glasses. That is, it had a uh, magnesium fluorite uh, light element and a fused quartz, yeah, fused silica, um, flint glass. Now that's a very, that's a very light glass also, so these are two very strange pieces of glass. The result was a telescope that looked just like a reflector to look through. You could not see any color on a bright star image. Amazing telescope. So this is Steve Benson with a six inch F15. Excuse me, uh, other optics. You've got, we've got the wrong, um, we've got the wrong name here, don't we? Um, Steve, Steve Benson built the telescope, but it isn't what it says here. It's actually a refractor. He had two Okay. All right. So Steve Benson, you're here for the refractor. Are you here? You're here. The refractor is absolutely unbelievable. I'm, thank you for letting me look through it. Okay. Now, before I give the uh, microphone to Chris Houghton to do the mechanical, there's a slide in between, if you can put that on the screen, of all the people who brought to us today, or this weekend, their first telescope, and some of them are winners as well. 
Notice Amy and Claire Chang right up on the top of the list. Melvin Dawson, Eileen Myers, Mark Daly, Paul Courtemash, Ivano Del Pret, and Karen Cutler. All of those were first telescopes, and several of them are winners, and some of them haven't been announced yet. So thank you all, and the rest of you, get busy for next year, right? So Chris, take it away. Thank you, Rick. Uh, now we're going to honor the finest of many fine mechanical entries. Okay, and we're going to do it in a similar format uh, from third or honorable mention first to, uh, forward to first place. We're going to start with the Junior Award, and we may have some ideas on who this could be. So the Junior Award goes to Annie and Claire Chang for their 6 inch F 8.5 Newtonian Dobsonian. Congratulations. Congratulations. Give you your award. Hold on. Yep. Should be in duplicate. Very good job. Okay, the next category, and we had one award in junior this year. The next category is special, and we're starting with two honorable mentions. We had actually a lot of special, uh, what we would consider to be non working telescopes, but still of astronomical inclination, that um, we, were, we were judged this year. I think we had five or six entries in this category. And it was tough work for the judges to sort it out. And typically, we, we might only give a special award. But what we did this year is we gave two honorable mentions, because we thought we should at least mention these. And we gave the first place special award as well. So the two honorable mentions, the first one goes to Al Rifkin for his five-inch refractor uh, bug tent, I guess. Or bug tooth tent. <laughs> Congratulations, Al. And actually, if you could check and make sure it's, it's actually the person that we're talking about. <laughs> okay. Okay, and the second honorable mention award in the uh, special category goes to Alan Slisky for his spherometers. And there he is. Okay. Congratulations, Alan. Yeah. Okay, and the next category tonight is the antique restoration category. And Oh, I'm sorry, I skipped the first well. No, no, that was that. <laughs> okay. Um, this, the indentation is confusing me. Uh, we have a first place special award. We can't miss this. And this goes to Steve Dodson for his 6-inch or 8-inch adaptable focal length special bob. And this is very interesting. You know, you looked at it on the surface. Congratulations. And, you know, just another, just another Dobsonian or Dodsonian. I guess this should be called a Dodsonian, right? <laughs> yeah. And what it does is it takes more than one mirror size and it adjusts focal length uh, for different F ratios. And it's meant, well, we know. He, he discussed it here. There's one sitting in front of us. So it's very, very clever. Okay, the next category is antique restoration. We had one entrant, but it was a very fine entrance this year. And this goes to Peter Talmadge for his 1906. 5-inch F-15 German Equatorial Refractor, Restoration Alvin Clark. Congratulations, Pete. Okay, now we're going to move on to the Mechanical Design category and the Craftsmanship category. Uh, the distinction between these two, these two categories is that Mechanical Design concentrates on the usability, the ingenuity, the innovation, sort of the design of the instrument, and the Craftsmanship uh, concentrates on the execution and the quality of workmanship. Now, there's a big overlap between these categories, and we have a lot of time, a lot of problem as judges even sorting it out, so it's not strictly always divided like that, but generally that's the inclination of these two awards. So first, for mechanical design, we're going to go for each of these, starting with honorable mention, okay, because it was a lot of good entrance, to third place, second place, first place, and no looking. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't bring his glasses. Okay, so the honorable mention in the mechanical design, which is ingenuity, innovation, um, goes to Melvin Dawson for his 10-inch F5.65 uh, Newtonian fork mount that's uh, from Florida. Congratulations. Yeah. We knew he was from not, not from these parts when we saw his telescope practically sitting horizontal on the horizon. <laughs> Low latitude. 
Okay, third place in the mechanical design category goes to Mark Daly for his aircraft telescope. Here I go again. Yeah. <laughs> Very nicely done. Congratulations. Okay, second place in mechanical design goes to uh, Paul Cortemash. Yes, did oh, I yes. say that right? Yes. For his binocular, his uh, two, 250 millimeter, which I guess is 10 inches. Yeah, uh, binocular telescope. Very nicely done. And uh, Dave Kelly tells us you got some good views through it. I'm looking forward to trying it out tonight. Congratulations. Okay, first place in mechanical design. For his 6-inch F6 Newtonian German Equatorial Mount, the award goes to uh, Joseph Dejeuner? Deshane. Deshane. Right. Yeah, <laughs> very nicely done. Yeah. The more we looked at this, the more we liked it. You know, there was <laughs> even down to the, uh, you know, the triangular cross-section of the, the main tripod arm and, and the way you did the clutch system and the sector drive. It was just, you know, an endless list of things. I should have brought my cheat sheet. <laughs> okay, so that concludes the mechanical design and ingenuity. Now we're going to move on to the craftsmanship category. And I think you'll find there's some overlap here, as I explained. Could be the case before. So starting with honorable mention, for his 6-inch F5 Newtonian Dobs Dobsonian, the award goes to Steve Benson. Right here. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Okay, the third place award in craftsmanship. Um, yes, okay, good. The third place in craftsmanship goes to, uh, for his 10-inch uh, F5 reflecting binocular Dobsonian, goes to Paul Cordemash. Congratulations. Nicely done. Okay. In second place, the award goes for a 6-inch F9.66 Newtonian Equatorial Fork to Mark Daly for his monocoupe constructed uh, <laughs> telescope. Yeah, no, it was, uh, you know, an example of um, the, the, the problems we have sorting it out. But, you know, the, the way that you did the cleanliness of the, uh, the plastic shrink was, <laughs> I think, the tiebreaker in, in the fact that you made your mirror helps as well. It should be mentioned that even though the mirrors are primarily for optical awards, if somebody has made their mirror, then that does help us in the craftsmanship category as well when it comes to tie-breaking. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then for first place, for his 6-inch F6 Newtonian German Equatorial, the award goes to Joseph Deshane. Again, nice and done. Yeah. Okay, that concludes our awards for this year. Thank you. Please, folks, come, come again. <laughs>